<laughs> so we're back here at Studio 107. I'm Rebecca. This is Kate. And we're just kind of building on your basic face. So last time we did on our little mini makeover session, um, we did just the foundation and just kind of covered what we carry here and how important it is to get just a really nice, even complexion. Everyday wear or, you know, a special occasion, it really is important to get that nice, even coverage um, so that you can build your look on top of that. So today we're doing bronzers and blush and the importance of that. Um, bronzers just really help to contour the face. Um, if you've got a little wider face or um, even if you have a elongated face, it helps to kind of break it up depending on how you use it. So um, Jane Iredale has three different bronzers. We have So Bronze Number One, which tends to be, I if I can get that, there. It tends to be a little bit on the kind of warm golden side. There, that's better. <laughs> and then um, So Bronze 2 actually has a little bit of a gold shimmery highlighter in it. And there again, this is actually a little bit darker than So Bronze 1. Obviously, it's purposely made that way. Um, and then So Bronze 3 is even a little bit darker than that, and it has kind of a peachy shimmery highlight to it. So it depends on if you want the highlighter, um, how tan or naturally dark you are uh, to begin with and then just kind of figure out what shade you want to go with from there. Um, we're also talking about blushes and Jane offers two different types of blush. There's the powder blush, which this is cheeky. It's kind of a nice rosier hue. It's got a little more of a natural tone to it. And then there's also a cream blush, which is good for more dry skin. Um, it goes on really nice and light. It actually has a cocoa scent to it, which is, is kind of nice, but it's really blendable. Um, and there again, just better for your dry skin. Um, it tends to not continue to dry the skin out like a powder would. So, with that being said, we're going to apply on Kate here. She's already got a little bit of bronzer and blush on the one side. It's not too much. You know, it's a little more of your daytime look. We're going to do a little more drama on the other side and give her a little more contour, a um, little more pop in the cheek, and um, get her all revved up for the evening. So here we go. Mm -hmm. With your bronzers, like I said, you always want to kind of choose depending on how tan the person is or um, how much pigment they have naturally. So I'm actually going to use So Bronze 3. Kate is Golden Glow with her um, foundation. So she's already got a good pigment to her skin. She can go with a little bit darker one. Like I said, this is for evening, so we're going to kind of contour her up a little bit more. So, we did a little contour on Kate's left side. Yes. So, we've got a little extra powder through here. You really want to do almost like a C shape through here. And if you've got, you know, a little bit heavier jawline, you can also do it through here. It's called a three. So, you go right through there like a three. Or, if you've got, you know, a little thinner jawline, you're not worried about it, just do a C, but all of this should be nice, kind of filled in. You want to make sure that you're really bronzing it out, really kind of buffering it out. So you can tell she's got a little bit more of that shade right through that area. Now we're going to go through, do her blush, and this is really applied, you want a nice fluffy brush. This is applied mainly on the apple of the cheek and then just lightly brushed back. Okay. 
So you get just a nice little pop of color there. So nice and simple, easy to do. There again, it maybe adds another two minutes to your daily routine. Do a little mascara on top of it, maybe some lip gloss and you're good to go. So here again, Studio 107, I'm Rebecca, this is Kate. Just giving you a few little tidbits for any, you know, makeover queen or just somebody who wants a, a nice little spruce up to their daily routine. Thank you. Bye. Bye.